Um, I don't know, really. I just think, I mean, we've got a real strong, loyal fan base, really. That's the, I suppose that's the main thing. And um, we still, you know, make strong albums, I think. We still write strong songs. That's what I like to think, anyway. Exactly. What do you do then? I mean, what do you do when, when Maiden is um, not your prime concern? Um, play football, tennis, do all the normal things you don't get a chance to do on the road too much. Um, I've got, you know, uh, darkroom photography and stuff I'm into that. And obviously spending time with family and that. Just doing normal type things really, you know. Are you a homey type of person? Yeah, I don't go out too much when I'm, once I'm, you know, finished with a tour. Because I'm out all the time on tour, so, you know, um, when I'm home, that's it, I don't really go out very much. Would you say the feeling is the same every time you're about to release a new record? Yeah, pretty much so, because uh, you, you really want to, you know, just obviously write the best songs you can. So we tend to write under pressure. We usually allow ourselves like a six week period to write in. And um, so in that sense, since the number of the Beast album, um, the process of writing and recording has been pretty, pretty similar. Um, obviously we've recorded in different places. I mean, if you go and record in the Bahamas, it's obviously going to be a different sort of atmosphere <laughs> of recording at home. But uh, in some ways, the last couple of albums, um, I think we've been a bit more productive in the sense that, you know, there's nothing to sort of uh, take you off, off course, I suppose, whereas if you're in the Bahamas, I mean, you go out and, you know, you do a backing track and then you go out and celebrate, you know, and stuff. And do you feel the same satisfaction over this one as you did for example? Yeah, you always feel satisfaction when you've just finished an album. I mean, it's, you, you can't wait to play it to people, you know. It's always that way. Um, and, but you can't be, like, totally objective about it until a few months later because then you live with the album more and you play the songs live and you see how they stand up against other songs. Um, but obviously, after you just finished out an album, you obviously, you know, you, you, you tend to think it's the best thing you've done because it's fresh and exciting and, and uh, it's new and everything else. So um, I think, you know, like maybe in a year's time, I'll be more objective and compare it more to the other albums, really. Mm -hmm. But I think it's a very strong album. You know, I mean, I think all the albums we've done have been very strong. I mean, the songs, the bottom line is the songs. Fear of the Dark, to me, seems to be a little more sinister than, than Maiden has been for a while. It has this evilness a little bit over it that disappeared for a while, I think. Um, I don't know if it's really evil. Sinister, I'd agree, sinister, eerie perhaps, but I don't know about evil. Um, I think the song itself just uh, conjured up sort of um, weird sort of, you know, imagery for me to want to write about that. Um, and some of the other songs have got a very strong mood on, like Freight Shoot Strangers, it's very moody. But there's so many different things happening on the album, so varied, you couldn't really take one song off the album and say that's representative of the album. Um, and I think that's probably because there's like four different songwriters, different collaborations going on, like with Yannick coming in the band and everything, and writing stuff. And um, it's, some of it's quite different. I mean, we've done different things in the past and we've got a bit of flack for it, you know, but so be it, you know, I mean, it's, we've never really been scared to, to try different things. Fear is the key? Doesn't that yeah. sound like killing a lot? I mean, Bruce almost um, sounds like Ian singing. Yeah, there is one bit in the middle where um, he, he does a scream which sounds really like Gillen. Yeah. But then the scream after that is a bit like Robert Plant. So, I mean, the actual song itself, to me, reminds me, you know, the feel of it reminds me of, uh, of Zeppelin. Um, but, yeah, I mean, the thing is, anyway, there has been songs in the past where Bruce has, has reminded me of Gillen because he's, I mean, he's a big Gillen fan anyway. Uh, oh, I know that. Yeah. So, um, you know, that's natural that that would come out every now and again. Um, I mean, Yannick is, you know, is influenced by a lot of people. I think on this album in particular, there's, there's bits of it, you know, that, you know, you can tell he's Blackmore influence and also Jeff Beck. Um, so, you know, when all these influences come out, you know, they pop up once in a while, you know. What type of credit <clears throat> would you put on Yannick as a new member of the band now, when you worked with him for some time now and you started to write songs? Um, well, definitely, I think he's a big asset to the band, for sure. I mean, when he came into the band, first of all, his enthusiasm alone was, like, you know, worth its weight in gold. And then, obviously, on stage and everything, you know, his antics on stage. And, and the bottom line is he's a good player anyway, and a, and a good good bloke as well. And um, But now, I mean, you know, we've, he's, he's proved that he can really write good songs too. And um, so it's, it's strengthened the band even more because, you know, I mean, there's four songwriters on this album. I mean, if Nico ever comes up with a decent song, or a song at all come to that, um, then that'll be a, uh, you know even bigger bonus as well. You know, uh, aren't you uh, dying now to go out on tour? Oh yeah, it's definitely. Been a while yeah. Since I mean, lucky enough the gigs that we were doing like Ross and we did Bordeaux in the south of France and stuff like that. 
kind of gigs in Switzerland in August, September. That sort of kept her hand in, if you like. Um, but it's still six months ago. So yeah, so know. it's not too bad. Um, you know, we really enjoyed doing them gigs. They're like one-off type gigs, and you know, um, I think like when you sort of, if you have, don't play from one to it in the next like maybe a year, every time you've recorded and all that stuff, then it, you know, you really are chomping at the bit to get out there. You know, with Maiden, one has come to expect that. Uh, the stage show would look uh, something uh, in the vein of the uh, album cover. So can we expect a, s a shrubbage uh, on this one? <laughs> yeah, fear of the bark, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, Eddie, Eddie will be there and, um, you know, obviously I'm not going to say too much what's on the, on the thing, but, uh, yeah, I mean, Eddie will be there. But I, all I'll say is he'll be there in different, various forms, really. Mm -hmm. but, uh, yeah, I mean, we try and put the, the best show on we can, as we always do, but... Uh, I mean, this time, because we're going to be doing lots of the rock and, and the outdoor festivals and stuff in America, America as well, um, you know, we're going to try and put on a, you know, maybe a bit of a bigger production than last time. You know, so.